Hi, this is Sabi, and today I'm going to do this thali on behalf of Aragyo World, my thali. Of course, uh, this is a program that I have been supporting for a while, as you all know. And I absolutely love this journey, creating this amazing recipes because it has really changed my life. Like I told you last time when we spoke that you know before the uh, the festive and the Christmas season starts, we all eat mithai, and this was my uh, chat with you. I think around Diwali, and I had said, look, if you follow all these norms of uh, Aragya um, uh, World My Thali, we're all going to be healthier, fitter, with proper nutrition on the other side of the Diwali season. And hey, guess what? I think you are all looking amazing and beautiful and touch wood, safe and healthy at home. But this is Christmas now and all over again, it is the festive season. We're trying to do something very interesting, which is also seasonal. I'm creating a lovely seasonal sag for the thali and because it's winter and we're making this really robust chicken curry from uh, West Bengal which is my home and so we're doing a combination of this beautiful uh, methi saag which is the green saag for the season and the protein would be the chicken curry so two recipes coming your way to create this beautiful thali as you already know the thali is all about portion and portion or portion and portion the right portion gives you the right nutrition so there you go, we have this amazing thali that we have set up for you today. Uh, uh, remember this is uh, on behalf of Aragya Mai Thali and hence this amazing dramatic story about how an Indian thali can be so healthy and so perfect for all of us. And this is seasonal food and we're trying to use everything that is local, that is sustainable, that's also regional. I have chosen this beautiful methi which is of course uh, the one that we get in season and methi is almost across uh, all over the country uh, because it's the winters so I'm going to create a methi saag we have taken alu and this is what I'm going to do which is an alu methi and alu methi is a management in heaven and there's absolutely no way you can go wrong with an alu methi so it's very very simple I'm going to just quickly uh, cut up the alu maybe I'll start heating the pan at the same time because it's uh, an induction, it's going to make a bit of a noise, but this is at home and hence we're okay with it. Uh, I, I don't mind a little bit of the size. The dash of oil. Now we will slowly also talk about different kinds of oil that we can use for different kinds of cooking. However, right now I'm cooking with a regular vegetable oil and uh, so this is the aloo. Since methi cooks up very very fast, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the alu into smaller slices. You can also cut them into dices or any other way that would make it cook fast because remember the green saag is going to cook very very fast. So this is all to create a lovely balanced thali with seasonal ingredients. Of course we're going to talk about the other components of the thali which is the protein which is when I'm going to talk about my favorite chicken curry from West Bengal and the rest of it which is your roti and your rice and uh, the other accompaniments that goes into the thali. So I have uh, some nicely uh, sliced up potato, my oil is heating up, look there are various kinds of spicing that could happen but I'm going to do a quick zira and uh, red chili which is something that I like and I think also in season it brings in a bit of a heat. So I have a bit of the zira, it's already toasted and kept and I have a couple of uh, uh, red chilies. I think I said green chilies but no this is zira and red chilies. So we are going to just quickly add it up. There you go. So my oil is hot. I'm going to put my potatoes. A little bit of muddling of the red chili with the zira all goes in together. A quick saute. Now we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to slowly stir it and let these potatoes cook in its own juice or water. Of course the saag is also going to provide a lot of moisture to this whole dish. So 
So I'm going to let the potato cook for a little bit. I'm going to give it a quick cover and let it cook in slow fire for a little bit until it's in the So there you go. I have started sorting my potato. It is already covered a little bit. So it's going to have its own steam that's going to cook it up. I'm going to put a dash of salt on this one right now. See, the salt of course brings out the most amazing, you know, uh, the aromas of every food because it caramelizes the food. But be mindful about putting your salt. Out here I'm using a thick grain salt, I like a sea salt. You can also use a sandha namak or any other natural salt. So a natural salt is very good for your health. Use a sea salt or a sandha namak or any other natural salt. So I've just uh, put a bit of salt and I'm going to saute it up a little bit. A bit of water because I don't want of course it to stick. But this beautiful aromas, oh my god, this zira and this red chili crushed together. Absolutely nostalgic, reminds me of home. This is something uh, my uh, family back at home would do this because Zira and Rachel is very typically uh, Bengali. So a bit of water. And now I can put the saag, which is of course my methi. I'm going to show you a quick simple technique, which is basically I'm going to chop it up with the kenchi. You can of course you know, do various things with it but this is a very very easy and a quick one and this is something that I've learned working with the, uh, the Koreans. This is a very quick technique of chopping our vegetables. There you go. Of course you can use a knife and do it. You can cut it uh, in any other form at home but this is one of the easiest simplest way to do it. I think that's adequate amount. I'm going to put a little bit of this back, which is falling in and there. So I've got all the methi in my pan. So now what I have is I have a very quick aloo methi happening. I'm going to let it. Uh, I'm going to let it sweat a bit. I'm going to add a bit of turmeric, very little dash, like really that much. I'm going to close it down and let it cook for a little bit. The saag is cooking away and we're going to give it a quick stir. Oh wow, this beautiful aroma of alu and the methi and the zikna and the mirchi. It's just absolutely amazing. Like I said, you know, it's tough. It reminds me of home and uh, it's seasonal, it's fresh, it's gorgeous. Uh, I'm going to just uh, keep stirring it and then I'm going to check for the salt towards the end and see if the salt is adequate and I'll let it cook for a little bit. So my methi and aloo which is my seasonal uh, seasonal component of my beautiful uh, thali and uh, this is absolutely cooking here. as you can see all the steam that is all over the, the kitchen and these beautiful aromas uh, and uh, it just smells like winter. You know, this beautiful green saga now smells like winter. Let's see how is it progressing. Wow. Now what is happening here uh, is I must tell you what is happening here. That uh, normally cooking aloo and methi might seem a bit tedious. Also it might take a bit of time. But because I'm using this heavy bottom stainless steel pan which is something I suggest you must use it at home. If you have a copper pot, if you're cooking in chula or in gas, but something like this is really good. Please avoid using non-stick pans if you can and use something like this, which helps uh, cook the food faster. It also um, uh, moves the heat right. I have also got this cover, so it's retaining all these beautiful aromas that is coming out of the spice mix that I've hand pounded and, and cooking my alimati. So I'm almost there. And the saag is looking cooked. I'm going to just check on the alu and see if the alu is cooked. And the next, of course, is our the the main course. You know, the mains that I am really looking forward to today is my home style chicken curry. So my alu methi is cooking away and it's absolutely gorgeous and stunning. But hey, I must tell you about all the other seasonal greens that is available in winter or around the year. Uh, we get uh, methi, of course, uh, this is my beautiful uh, basket of methi. 
we get uh, palak as in spinach we also get batwa uh, we get chauli we get various other green sap we also get the uh, red cholais and the green cholais so there are various kinds of sag and leafy greens that you can incorporate in your food throughout your thali which makes it more balanced and makes it even more healthier of course i am doing aloo methi which is my favorite winter recipe but hey guess what the same aloo or the same tuber you can replace it with yam or sweet potato or even for that matter tapioca if you're down south and that would be an absolute amazing combination in place of the potato so the aloo methi is ready it's uh, really beautiful it's gorgeous uh, the aloo slightly sour and caramelizing the methi is absolutely cooked it's become like this nice mushy vegetable i'm going to uh, put it away in a small bowl and i'm going to start with my chicken so of course this thali is about the portion which also give you the right portion it is about 80 to 100 grams always be mindful about how much you are filling in the bowl So I'm going to pick up a nice bit of these greens, a lovely chunk of this red chili, a couple of these potatoes, and that's really what I am looking for in my seasonal green sag thali, which is my aloo methi. And I'm going to go back and now do my favorite chicken curry. So I am ready with my uh, sag or the aloo methi, and now I'm going to get on with my chicken curry, which is uh, my. favorite part of the meal today and this chicken curry is obviously something that is very familiar uh, to me it's nostalgic it's also the protein component on the thali please remember that we are constantly talking about a balanced meal or the indian thali hence the protein is very 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 important today of course i have chosen chicken but you can use any other forms of protein so here is my chicken i have some onions and tomatoes that i have quickly chopped up i'm going to make a very simple quick chicken curry in a minute i am going to do a very quick chicken curry which is what i was talking about and this really is something very close to my heart because this is my bengali roots or my bengali origin absolutely nostalgic if i can create a thali with my favorite chicken curry it is the absolutely most favorite thali of mine of course there are varieties of other thalis that i'm very fascinated by it is the north indian thali it is the south indian thali it is the bangalorean thali it is the karnataka thali it's the assamese thali and it to top the list i think the odia thali which is my absolutely absolutely favorite of course i started off with the gujarati thali me being a bong i like everything a little touch of sweet and gujarati thali is the only one where you get this little hint of sweetness and the little sweet flavors and aromas hence for me it was always the gujarati thali on top of my list but as life moved on as i grew older and i started developing taste and palate for slightly more acquired tastes I started liking all the other thalis, and I can tell you there are some uh, thalis in northeast which has been uh, full of proteins and full of uh, different kinds of greens that I've never eaten in my life, and it's absolutely mind-blowing. This chicken curry, I'm going to use my favorite oil, which is mustard oil. There's nothing better than a nice cold-pressed mustard oil in the winters. And now, what also happens is that this is my chicken. Okay, so chicken and mustard. is something typically very 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 bengali and this is always made with green chili you noticed that i did my saag with red chili but this is a recipe i'm going to do with green chilies mustard oil and green chili is again like a marriage made in heaven uh, a quick slit couple of green chilies quickly slit and you must remember to boil up your mustard oil because mustard oil has a bit of a, a acquired aroma but when it cooks up its aroma is absolutely gorgeous so remember to boil up or cook up your mustard oil a little bit before you start cooking so i and of course the the chili it has this beautiful aroma coming up i have nicely slit it so it's not going to explode on my face which happens often when you're cooking at home and your chili is not cut well 
just be clear and uh, about that you will you wash all your vegetables uh, uh, well maybe you've used a solution to wash them or taken all the right precautions every time you're cooking with green vegetables green leafy vegetables or uh, chilies uh, I'm ready for my ginger garlic paste so a dash of ginger garlic paste And of course my chicken which is marinated with turmeric and salt. Now cooking a little extra, you know I'm, I'm very greedy and I will probably eat it for a couple of meals. But of course you must know that the, the philosophy of a balanced thali only works with consuming 100 grams of protein. So my chicken is down. So I'm going to add the tomatoes slightly later because I really want the chicken to cook up nicely with my tomatoes being added. It will slow down the process of cooking the protein. I'm going to add the tomatoes in later. Beautiful, beautiful aromas of ginger garlic with mustard oil, green chili, reminds me of home. It's like a feast for me today. What can I tell you? A little water. I'm going to let it now cook it down for a while. Of course, it's a protein and it's chicken. It's going to take a while. I'm going to cover it and cook it for a while. I don't know where my cover is. So I'm going to do it. Uh, there my cover. This bowl has to get. So there you go. I'm going to cover it and cook it for a while. The chicken curry is boiling away and it's gorgeous. And you must know that Bengalis, we like our curries to be thin. You know, it could be a masala, which we call uh, the, uh, I think it's called brizala, which is one of the thick gravies. And it's also called kosha, which means like a bunao. But this is typically what we would like to eat at home whenever we are eating our Bengali thalis. A uh, bit of salt, of course. So the chicken is getting cooked, it's almost half done. I'm going to get it with my tomatoes and I'm going to let it cook away full now. Of course, this is my favorite protein in my thali, which is chicken, me being a Bengali. But Arakya My World also talks about all the varieties of other proteins that you can and you could replace it, especially if you're a vegetarian. Look at options like soybeans, paneer, varieties of dals and lentils, and all of these are amazing options of creating your protein portion in your thali. So my chicken is cooking away and it is my favorite protein but of course you know this is a balanced thali that we are talking about and this is what Aragya World by Thali uh, promotes and talks about and wants all of us to know but guess what it really all have busy lives and I, I've been working uh, from morning to evening in the kitchen and then maybe there are days that we can't create this beautiful thali and have it together but be mindful about it Remember what all that you need to take or intake in a thali and pace it out through the day. Maybe you can have some bit of the protein in an egg form at breakfast. Maybe you can have the dal at lunch with the dahi and the salads. Maybe you can have the chapati at dinner with your saab. But make sure you have taken the entire plate the way it has been prescribed. The chicken curry is done and it smells like divine like it's just absolutely absolutely gorgeous of course I've kept my components of the thali ready which means 
this you know I cooked the sag for you and I have uh, done the the rice and the chapati. Now we're also going to talk a little bit about the options of rice and chapati as we go on eating our ali. I have used white rice and a whole wheat chapati. But of course, I have used white rice and a whole wheat chapati. You can definitely uh, change them with a red rice or a brown rice and make it healthier if you like. Or just to break, break the monotony of a thali from a white rice thali every day. So this white rice could be broken into a sticky rice, an aromatic rice, a healthy brown rice or a red rice. Uh, from Northeast, we have this beautiful uh, black rice, you can even use that. This is of course our fresh salad which is again 100 grams. So purely constantly looking at the quantity of food that goes in the thali. This is a whole wheat chapati, this is one and a half chapatis. Uh, this is what we prescribe as a part of a, uh, of a balanced thali and this is your 80 grams of dahi or raita or in dahi in any form that we prescribe that you must have um, with your thali. And this beautiful sag that I have made for you with the seasonal aloo methi that is my favorite choice for my thali today goes in here and of course my protein of course how can I forget my protein everything and the entire story is about my protein which today happens to be the Bengali chicken curry in West Bengal we also uh, put a dash of sugar at times this is a typically Bengali grandmom's uh, 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 technique or a, 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 a home secret I haven't done that but in case you like that you can give it a dash of sugar uh, or jaggery while you're finishing the curry I absolutely like it the way it is today I will just put a bit of dhania you know fresh dhania just brings out the hariyali what we call it it brings out a little bit of that flavor in everything that we cook and there you go a bit of fresh dhania so a gorgeous freshness into this amazing, amazing chicken curry. Like I said, I have cooked a big pot, but you got to be mindful. It is only 100 grams of protein that is prescribed for thali. It's the portion that gives you por uh, portion. It's the portion that gives you the right portion. Hence, I'm only going to use 100 grams of protein, which is two of these beautifully cooked chicken pieces but a lot of the gravy of course you know I am so fond of my you can see this is this thin chicken curry which is typically how it is in West Bengal and that completes my perfect healthy nutritious thali full of portion in the right portion now every time we constantly talk about portion and portion is what Aragamai Thali wants to promote and this is what me, Chef Sabi, is also practicing in my real life, in my restaurants and talking about it for you to see and understand in this festive season. Wish you all a beautiful uh, year ahead, have a, a wonderful year end, Merry Christmas and enjoy the Thali.